Osmiston uh, lies just outside the town of Penarth and is very close to Cardiff. Uh, it's 110 hectares in size. It includes a number of habitats which are lakes, ponds, reed beds, meadows, woodlands, etc. We have lots of walks, nature trails. Uh, the Ranger Service carry out a very large, expansive environmental education programme. We offer lots of activities for children, so things like den building is really popular, where you can go into the woods and make a den and then we throw water on it to make sure it's waterproof, which is good fun. The kids have had great fun getting involved in all the different activities, getting dirty, running around the fresh air. You can hear the noise and the laughter. It teaches them life skills of how to work as a team if they're team building, to learn how, what they can do themselves to push themselves by climbing, adventuring, if they fall over to get back up again and to keep going. Try and get outside as much as we can do, uh, make the most of the weather, get outside as a family, spend time together as a family, but also away from the computer, the telly and mobile phones and things like that. At the Medieval Village we have tour guides in period costume who will take people around the site and let you learn more about uh, Welsh history in general. When they were originally building Cosmston Lakes Country Park, when they started excavating they found remains and brought in an archaeological trust and it was decided at the time that it would be a good idea to reconstruct the village as was back in medieval times. It's the only reconstructed medieval village in Wales. There's a lot to explore and a lot to find out. We're basically looking to expand the product offer. Uh, we're looking at in getting more people to come in and deliver services that we can't anymore because of financial constraints. So we're looking to work in partnership with external providers and try and give the visitors here an extra dimension to their visit. Yeah, we're looking for a wide variety of different activities. Obviously, we'd like them to sort of be in keeping with the countryside setting. But we're looking, you know, we can develop weddings here, which are, you know, a great opportunity with a medieval village. Um, more outdoor activities such as canoeing and boating. Um, quite open to the idea of sort of zip lines and things like that. So it's given it more of a, a punch when it comes to attracting visitors from Cardiff and the surrounding areas.